And in Einstein's brain, the multiple folds, ridges and grooves around that area sort of blend into one another. And it's been suggested that that might increase the connectivity between the various regions. One group of people show the bizarre effects of extra connectivity. They have an extraordinary condition called synesthesia. Imagine if your hearing and vision overlapped. So, Jay, I mean, what does that sound like to you? It had a lot of goldenness about it, a lot right. of shininess and some steps. Mostly for me, it's when I um, hear sounds, I see things. Uh, it can be any sound at all. It can be a door slamming or a phone ringing or months, days of the week and so on. For example, my Wednesday has always been a lemony yellow with, <laughs> with funny sort of angles in the middle of it. I mean, Wednesday just is lemon yellow, isn't it? Well, of course, of course. <laughs> Now, uh, James, what's yours like? It's very, very different. Um, what I get is when I hear words or word sounds, um, I get a very sharp and immediate and involuntary splash of taste. You're getting these incredibly strong flavours just appearing in your mouth, sort of, mm. that are overriding. Yeah, I mean, they're doing it now. I've, uh, I had there, when you said overriding, I had, um, it was a bit like a fruit pastel, a bit <laughs> like a very old fruit pastel taste. <laughs> So, James, what does Albert Einstein taste like to you? Mm -hmm. um, the Albert part tastes of um, yoghurt. Uh, oh. Fairly thick yoghurt. Uh, but it is just yoghurt with no pieces in. Yeah. And Einstein is a, is a peculiar. It's, it's like there's it's a wafer flavour in it. So it's yoghurt and wafers. Is it possible that an unusual overlap in maths and spatial thinking is the key to Albert Einstein's genius.